hi friends what's this kinter application this this is a image i can drag it to any position and drop it anywhere i can leave it again i can drag it and leave it at any position you can see the position of mouse position when i am dragging x and y horizontal and vertical position is also displayed we'll learn how to do this here is a simple layout we have just one window with 615 width and 400 height and in that we have placed one label here and background we have kept it as yellow color and front is slightly bigger 30 and we have placed it in our window let's just run it and see the our blank window it is uh, here it is so to this we'll first add our how we'll track the mouse coordinates and in the next phase we'll move the image we'll add our events first so uh, my parent window is my underscore w that's what at line number two you can see we have declared it so my underscore w this is we are binding a event to this my parent window itself so i am saying here now i will place the b1 b1 is my left mouse button and whenever it is in motion whenever it is in motion so this will trigger it now what i will do i'll just call a callback function so i am saying callback my callback this function i'll execute so far i have not declared it i will write it now here i just missed a symbol here okay now what i will do at the end of this i will declare my callback so my callback now it, i will take the event as the input so here I have kept the input. You can write E also. Usually uh, you will find E as event. So I have written event so it will be very clear. Now what I am doing L1. L1 is my label. I am changing the text option. So or by default this text is here it is written as to display. That I am changing now. Config. So I am saying text option. Now this equal to first I am giving some position x colon. Now I am saying plus now event the x coordinate is event a dot x now this x is in integer so because it's a string so str i am giving i am converting it to a string now so here it is okay so plus this is the event x now i will say again what is the y here so i will say plus now i will just give y uh, better to give a comma here uh, and then say y now what's the y value i will say plus str again event dot y that's all so we have just reading any time the mouse is in motion where uh, when the left bo button is pressed and mouse is moving this function is called here it is let me just give a gap okay so now the label i am the text i am configuring every time and displaying the event x and event y here so i'm just saving this let's run this and see how this works here it is now i have pressed the mouse and dragging it moving it along so you can see x and y coordinates are displayed i have left the mouse now eh, sorry mouse button i left it so it is it has stopped again from here i am starting i can move it now to this we'll add a image let's declare the image here i'm just pasting it my declaration here you can see i have kept it in the path d drive in your case you can pl place your image anywhere else so accordingly you have to modify this path so this i will use it inside the canvas so let me declare it my c is my canvas so tk dot sorry dot canvas this uh, in the my canvas is kept in the parent window now in width i am giving slightly width i'll give us 600 then width then height height is let's give 400 height uh, equal to 400 now height and width are given now let me just place it first so i will say my underscore c dot pack i placed it in my window now i will add that image my image i am declaring it here equal to my underscore sorry my underscore c dot create image uh, okay create image now now what is the i have to give a dimension to it so i am giving it as 180 by 50 now here is my 
uh, image image equal to now f underscore image this is what i have declared it here so this is the in within the canvas this the i have declared it my image now this image will will try to take it to the callback function by giving a different location what let's just see how this works and up to this point let's see this so i'm just running this and we can see the image is placed now it will not it will not move only my mouse is position is there but this image is fixed now we'll bring take this image into our callback function and drag it now within the callback function i will first declare the global global f image though i will bring it here also there is a issue in, within the function image uh, there is a garbage collection issue so it will not work perfectly so i am declaring it as global taking it from the root now i will just copy this uh, from here i will just take it again copying this below that pasting it here now one more is where is my position here it is so this my image this also i will copy this and place it here but i will not i will change the his here coordinates what i will do i will instead of 180 and 5 whatever i have i will say event dot x and here event dot y so that's all let's just save it and inside this position uh, my image is declared here now let's just see how it it works here it is so now let me just drag it you can see it i am able to drag it move it to any position because i can release it anywhere i can just again go there bring it drag it to any position you can see here this is the callback function at line number 4 inside that whatever whenever i am pressing the mouse and dragging it uh, the image is getting dragged and to a new coordinate and whenever i am releasing this it is staying there so that's all this is the uh, this is the way we in a drag and drop of any image any ob other object also we can take it and place it anywhere within the window that's all friends so I hope you have understood this and if you have any doubt suggestion questions then use the comment section below to post it and I'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified uh, whenever whenever we place new videos and we frequently do that lot of new new tutorials we are adding regularly and please share this with your friends and thank you for watching